Hello and welcome to the CMC Markets Chart of the Week video with myself, Dave Madden, Market Analyst here at CMC Markets. And today's date is Wednesday the 7th of March and the time has just gone midday, 12pm UK time. And this week's Chart of the Week is going to be the Russell 2000, or as, as we call it here at CMC Markets, the US Small Cap 2000. Now the big picture is that the, the American index, like the other major American indices and global indices, had a solid finish to 2017 went on to create in a record high in 2018, had a major sell-off along with other global stock markets, and has bounced back. These vertical lines here that are on the screen are, are the Fibonacci retracement, which is a tool used by technical, technical analysts. Uh, the Fibonacci retracement tool can be found under the draw tools on our trading platform, and it is this one here that, I, that I'm using. Uh, retracement, uh, retracements of a move are, are fairly commonplace in financial markets. Uh, Dow theory talks about how if you have a, a, a certain trend or a certain move, it's not uncommon to see that move being a retracement of one third, one half, or, or two thirds of the original move before the before the trend continues. Uh, with Fibonacci retracement, it's a similar principle, but the, but the levels are different. So the big uh, important levels to watch out for on the Fibonacci retracement is a retracement of 23.6% of the, of the move, 38.2%, 50%, and 61.8% of the move. So drawing a line between the high in, in a high of 2018 and the low of early in early February, we can see that the Fibonacci retracements at various different levels have been respected on a number of occasions. And seeing as the, the Russell 2000 has managed to retrace over 60% of the original downward move, it's, it's likely that we could see the market retrace 100% and, and, and retest 16.16 in the, in the wider term. Granted, there's a lot of uncertainty in global stock markets at the moment, and in particular, American stock markets, given the potential of, of the talk of trade war heating up between the United States and countries like China, or a trading bloc such as the EU. So what we may see is, we, it's possible we could see some weakness in the, in the uh, near to short term before potentially the wider upward trend continues. So taking a look at the uh, areas that we potentially see the US, um, the, U, the Russell 2000 pull back to, if you look here at the 61.8% retracement level at 15.39, uh, we can see on a couple of occasions that the lows of the last couple of sessions have there and thereabouts been in that price area. If you look at the 50% retracement level at 15.15, we can see that it has been respected as both resistance and support on a number of occasions recently. And if it's been respected uh, as support and resistance recently, it's more likely to do so in the future. Although, of course, there are no guarantees. Uh, we also see that the 38.2% uh, percentage retracement has also been respected recently in terms of support in, in, uh, in, the, in, in the recent week or so. And that comes into play at 14.92. So between 15.39, 15.15 and 14.92, these are areas that we could potentially see the market drift lower if, it, if there is a te a tension surrounding possibility of a trade war for potentially the market uh, would, would, would retest the all-time high of 16.16. If you do, though, have a seismic break south of the uh, 14.92, the 38.2 uh, retracement area, that could signal that the market is actually going to move, move lower again, and we could send us back down towards 14.62, or perhaps even as low as the February low of 14.15. Well, that's all for me this week. Thank you very much.